27. This airplane is a huge airplane. 300 feet plus spot, 250. I'm extremely excited to see the Super Guppy fly. Yes, you heard correctly, a flying Super Guppy. You may have seen this odd looking aircraft flying over the Miami Valley region and wondered what it was. NASA Super Guppy is the only one of its kind, built to carry oversized cargo. And today's shipment is a 25 foot high, 20 foot long crew compartment trainer that will soon be on display at the National Museum of the United States Air Force. We have the largest interior diameter uh, of any aircraft in the world. This was built for a very specific purpose back in the 1960s, and it was uh, used to move the Saturn rocket boosters during the Apollo era, uh, you know, from California all the way to Florida. And during a time when we were in a, in a big race with the Russians to get into outer space, well, they used to have to put them on barges, and that took two to three weeks. So uh, by building this aircraft, we were able to move, uh, move those parts from two to three days. Today's flight from Ellington Field, Texas to Dayton didn't take days, but it felt that way. The flight only took four hours, which sounds quick, but definitely doesn't feel fast in an aircraft that flies 250 miles per hour. Uh, pressurization is set, altimeters uh, 10, 19 and change. Due to the weight of its cargo, the Super Guppy flew at an altitude of 12,000 feet, providing spectacular views of the countryside below. You ready for approach? Yeah, might as well. All right. Then it was time for the grand finale landing the Super Guppy in front of a large audience at the National Museum of the United States Air Force. It's about the same in the Guppy everywhere we go, we, we draw a crowd. We noticed when we flew over on sort of a high downwind to take a look at the field, we could see cars everywhere and people lined up along the fences. And uh, when we turned the corner out here on final, all the traffic stopped right in the middle of the road. It was, we did see that. The Super Guppy provided another perfect landing, sending its fans home happy. It's a very thrilling experience to see any type of beautiful aircraft in the air. Reporting for Wright-Patterson Air Force Base Public Affairs, I'm Matthew Klaus.